today we are going to learn how to make this beautiful wrap top with the sleeves i made this top with three yards of ankara fabric looking at this top if you don't know you may think you would not need enough material but actually you would because of the sleeves and also the flare but don't worry as we go on in this tutorial you would know exactly how i achieved it if you want a sewing channel where videos are released weekly then hit the subscribe button and let's go the first thing i did was to mark out five inches and rule it out and this is very important because for a wrap top we would need more than the basic bodies especially in the part where it's going to interlap so after marking out the five inches like this i started marking out the basic bodies now if you don't know how to draft the basic bodies i have already released a video on it and i'll be linking it up here as you can see in this draft i have actually drafted both the front and the back block and that's how you're going to do your own we are going to be connecting where the shoulder and neck meets to the edge of our bodice to make a triangular shape that we can use the next thing we are going to do is to cut our back block and to do that you see this five inches that we've already ruled out we are going to fold it because remember the wrap part is only going to be for the front and not for the back part of a wrap top unless if you choose to maybe turn it upside down so yes right now we're folding the five inches off then we now have our normal back block and of course we are going to be cutting our back neck and we are going to be cutting every single thing on our fabric and our lining I have a big issue with this lining since i came to the uk i've not seen correct lining but hopefully i would soon see because where i am is very white dominated and there is nothing like ankara fabric or any african shawl maybe that explains why i have not yet found a good lining this one is like rubber lining and i absolutely hate it but at least it does the job or so i think so let's just continue with it cutting the upper part the next thing i did was to try to cut the sleeve and for that there is no particular measurement because of the nature of the sleeve so the sleeve would literally be pleated so all i measured was the length of the sleeve but for the width it's going to be as much or as small as you want it to be to get your sleeve measurement after measuring your armhole measurement you can times it by two or by three depending on how much you want the pleating to look like so that's just what i'm doing right now which is just me cutting out my fabric by width and by length then for the edge of the sleeve it's still going to follow the same process but this time around i'm going to be using my actual sleeve measurement as that would hold down the pleats <music> Now for the wrap top, you can use any kind of flare. You could pleat it, you could gather it, or you could use flare, which is what I used. So now there are three kinds of flare skirts. We have the 360 degrees flare, 720 degrees flare, 
and 1440 degree flare if you want a separate video on flare let me know in the comment section because if i start talking about flare in this video it's going to take up the whole video with this top i wanted a flare that was not too bulky but still not too flat so it was just like right in the middle and to achieve that i divided my client's waist measurement into six I folded the fabric twice and the way I cut, I just got the full waist measurement and the full flare. But don't worry, don't bother yourself about that because I'll still make a separate video on flare just so that you can understand totally what I've just done. <music> The next thing I did was to measure out the rope of the wrap top and the length I made use of is 25 inches and the width is 4 inches. So of course you can use anything you want to use but I made use of a length 25 for each piece and width 4 inches. So when I have the two um, ropes we are going to be having 25 inches to the left, 25 inches to the right. So we are going to start with the sewing. Now the first thing we are going to do is to sew the back bodies. Now of course we are going to be using the lining, even though our lining looks like rubber, but we just manage it like that. So we'll put the neck with the neck, of course good side facing good side. Then we are going to sew the neck region and turn it out. For the front part, we are going to be doing the same thing, it's just that for the front part, our neck is going to be this slanted part or with this fabric this is what it looks like this slanted part so just the same way we did for our back bodies we're going to be placing our lining and we're going to be sewing the neck region <laughs> Remember when I mentioned that for the sleeves, the length would be your sleeve length, but the width would be dependent on you. So you can make use of your armhole measurements times two, which is basically what we've done here. Once you've decided on what your width would be, ensure to mark the middle. So what I just did now is to fold the fabric, then I mark the middle because we have to ensure that one sleeve is not fuller than the other so that part i marked would be in the joining of the sleeve so that each part would have equal amount of fabric so i've pinned it down and we'll be going to our sewing machine to pleat now to pleat is mainly to fold so we'll be on the machine and be folding the sleeve like this that's just basically it for the hem of your sleeve the width would be based on your round sleeve measurement whilst the length will be based on your sleeve length for the sewing of the rest part of the sleeve we would fold the already sewn sleeve which is the fuller part into two ensuring we know the middle and also we'll do the same for this smaller part of the sleeve then we would use our pin to mark both sides just the same way we pleated the armhole part of the sleeve, we would also be pleating this hem of the sleeve. Mm -hmm. 
now we'll be sewing the rope of the wrap top we have folded it into two and we'll turn it to the back and sew so that we can turn it over the ropes are located in very strategic positions one is in front of one of the bodices whilst the other one is by the side so you can decide if you want it to be the left hand side or the right hand side but this is how the rope should be situated at this point i'm joining all the sides of the top from the sleeve to the waist then finally i'll be joining the flare and of course the first thing i did was to mark the middle of the flare and the middle of the bodies i've already joined then as usual i'll be using the pin to mark it out so that none will be bigger than each other then after that of course basically since it's flare there is really no need to pleat because it just has that feel to it already unless if i choose to pleat maybe because the flare is surplus <laughs> about this beautiful top now if you love this video you are definitely going to love this next video on how to make a kimono flare jacket so watch it if you are interested and i'm going to see you next week bye